Welcome back everyone. Good evening. I am Dorky Farmer Jay. I understand if that is a mouthful. You can call me Jay. I'm forcing that, aren't I? Why we are out here. Starlink, west to east. I have very dark west to east. I can tell you my UFO story. I didn't go down on the in the fields or anything. It snowed. So I'm by the road. Sorry if it's loud. That's Jupiter there. All right. I'll tell you my UFO story while we look for Starlink. So a couple nights ago, I came out and looked at Jupiter. First of all, I need you to trust me when I say I know where things are in the sky. ISS, satellite stars, planes, helicopters, hot air balloons. I know the altitude of things. I'm a space nerd. So I was looking at Jupiter, as I want to do. And there are two really bright lights of the same magnitude is Jupiter. And since I go out every day and look at Jupiter, I said, oh, that's not right. <laughs> but I didn't really think of anything of it. I just went in to get my mom because she's the reason I'm a space nerd. And so I went in, I got her, I grabbed myself a cup of coffee. She went out. I told her to look at the two lights by Jupiter. I said, what are those two lights? I went and get a cup of coffee. Hang on. You know, you can see Jupiter naked eye here somewhere. Where are we? Well, you saw it earlier, whatever. Um, and I hear her go, to the right of Jupiter, there's no light. And I'm instantly like, oh, what the fuck, mom? <laughs> so I go out and I was like, no, to the right of Jupiter. And uh, yeah, there were no lights there. And this was like seven at night. And I thought, well, maybe it was the tail end of a Starlink train, but there were no Starlink trains that night. <laughs> um. And it, the two bright objects were stationary next to Jupiter as I was viewing it before I decided to go in and get mom. So, I don't know. I don't know if you people have a chance to really look up. I can't get any stars on here. This camera's trash. Boy, you can see some weird shit in the sky. I'm not saying aliens, but you get a dark sky. I mean, there are thousands of stars in my night sky. I can see the Milky Way most nights. Crystal clear this time of year. I'm in Maine, central Maine, United States. And, uh, yeah, you look up. You see shit move. You see shit move that aren't satellites or the ISS or anything. All right, where are we at? I should look behind me. It's usually right over where the sun's setting. I may title this Failed Starlink Viewing Turned UFO Story. I get very passionate about space. My goodness. How could you not? When you come outside and see thousands of stars every night, the aurora in the winter, the rare times you see it. Briefly lived in Alaska. I thought I might be a college student. I am not. And boy, the auroras out there were amazing. Yeah. Well. That's a bummer. The last... The last set of trains were pretty good. This one, this one is supposed to be bright, but I am not seeing anything. Well, I hope you enjoyed my UFO story then. It's dark, I can't, thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my UFO story. If I see it, I'll start filming. Thank you.